everyone and welcome back to my channel mummy life and i and this is going to be a video all about weaning and all the things that i have bought to try and make sure that my son's weaning journey is successful so i have my trusty bag here of all the items that i've got they range from presents tesco poundland ikea amazon and all the cheap places that you can get and all the cheap places that you can get things you don't have to spend a lot and to make the weaning journey easy the first thing i bought was the basket for all of the spoons and all the little items so i can keep them all together in the cupboard and this basket was just from poundland and obviously it cost a pound and it's just a little basket that holds i don't know if you can see all the little items that i have so this was just handy to have to grab and go even if we were going on a day trip out and in my trusty little basket i have these little freezer pots so i have six of them they're three blue and three green and these are the fred and flow ones from tesco's and i think they're around three pound fifty so they have the measurements on the side i don't know if you can see but it has measurements all the way up to two ounces and you can make your own purees and fill them up and these can go in the freezer or that you can take them with you just so you have your own homemade purees and food to take out with you so i have four types of spoons that i have purchased or received from family and friends and these are all really handy to have and i've used all of them they all work really well with oscar so this first one is just a plain plastic spoon really from Tommy Tippy and I got six of these for one pound in Poundland. So these are the ones that we started off with and he seemed to really take to them and it helped him to understand how to use a spoon and open his mouth. Um, the next one is also a Tommy Tippy one and we got this from his godparents and it's just in the aeroplane shape so you can always go and the usual little weird faces that you pull to try and get a baby to eat and if it's in an aeroplane shape they can really believe that it's an aeroplane um we haven't used this one yet because oscar's really good at feeding but i know that when toddler time comes and he starts not liking food this is going to really really help us so these were a present from my mum when she found out that i was pregnant with oscar and i think they're from they're by munchkin and they're really wide spooned and this is really helping him to figure out how to use his spoon which angle he can put it in this is really going to help later on when we're trying to self-serve so he's got more of a shot at getting it in his mouth and the final one is the one we use the most i have no idea where these from so please comment below if you know but we were lucky enough to get these from our next door neighbors um they hadn't been used and they've just really really helped us these are our go-to feeding spoons we take them everywhere else everywhere with us and oscar just loves them and he'll feed everything within a few seconds really off these spoons so these are our main go-to ones so if you know where they're from and how much we are please comment below the next item i have is another trusted container now this was a present from one of mark's friends and i don't know where they got it from but it is really handy in this little pouch here it's got its own carry-on spoon and it's easy to hold it's got wide what's that bit called a wide handle and it can just pop in there and if it's dirty you can pop it in there and clean it later and if you open it up it's still got instructions in it it's got two separate sections so you can take your breakfast and lunch your lunch and dinner your dinner and your pudding anything that you want in it so it's just handy to take with you especially if you um, are going out and about on a day trip we haven't used this yet but i can't actually wait to use this so my next thing that you really obviously have to need and so you don't break your lovely china plates are are your plastic bowls we got both of these types from poundland these types have got lovely little stars on them and they're from tommy tippy and this one 
can't remember the make but they're just easy plastic bowls and they have a handle on them so out of the two this one will be really good for his like snacks and I don't mind it getting knocked over grapes bananas anything you want in there and this one's really handy for feeding him his breakfast so like porridge or his purees that he's having because I can hold it and he can't take it off me and it's just easier that way whereas I what I wanted to get and I will get at one time when he's feeding himself fully he's feeding himself meals I will get one of those that stick to the high chair because then obviously he can't pull that off he won't tip it and I'll save my floor a lot more um, I've also seen those ones that you can turn it a bit like this and they'll never ever spill and I would love 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 to use one of them so if I can see them or I find one I will try and get my hands on one of them. Talking of mess you obviously will need something to cover their clothes you can't have them naked all the time so the first thing we bought was one of these bibs I think we got this from Sainsbury's and it was just a plain bib at £2.50 and it's plastic easy to clean easy to put on with just a, a clip and easy to use and all the food will collect at the bottom but Oscar is still young he's only starting his weaning journey and he's still getting it everywhere on his legs and everything so one day I took a trip to Poundland and we found this apron type one and this it looks like a painted apron but because he's so small this covers all the way down to his legs so this is the one that we're using at the moment as you can see by all this crinkleness and it's just really handy it's wipeable we wipe it with antibacterial wipes each time we use it and it's just really easy so my next item that we have is this little blender so i've got this little blender from facebook marketplace actually but it's by tommy tippy it's just a little blender which has appropriate portion sizes at fluid ounces and everything on it and it's just really handy to make sure this is his no other food goes in it it's only his and a full one of these makes a full ice cube tray up for me so this was really handy the reason i don't use a normal blender is because I end up making too much and I end up throwing a lot away. So along the lines of making food, I purchased this. It is the fill and squeeze pouches and masher. I decided to get this actually because I saw it on a Facebook ad. I was obviously looking at all the other items so it popped up on my Facebook. These fill and squeeze pouches are really, really good. I haven't been able to use them yet, but all the reviews have been fabulous and they will really, really help when I'm making my own purees. So if I open the box up, you can actually get different standard packs. So I just got the standard pack, but there is um, more expensive packs than this. will give you more pouches, a little feeding spoon for the pouch and all different items. But I just got the standard pack that comes with the container where you pour all your purees in and it comes with five pouches in there. So this is the masher it goes all the way up to 500 mils and it has all the instructions on the outer rim here for you and it comes with a masher so you can mash it all up with the holes in and when you want to put it into the pouches you just put on the bottom and mash it and it will come out the end where you attach the pouches to so it's just really good to make sure that you can use your own food and make sure you know everything that your son or daughter is getting. So as I said, it comes with five pouches in the masher, but they also send an extra 10 pouches. So I've got 15 reusable pouches and I don't think I'll need any more because if I make 15, that's five days worth of three meals a day and I can reuse them and wash them and use them as much as I can. And the last thing that it comes with is this bendy, um, brush so that you can clean these and make sure that they are ready to be used again I purchased this off Amazon for about 19.95 I think I think that's the standard packaging but it was it is going to come in really handy and I can't wait to use it the next thing I have is a Audi buy I was on my weekly shop and 
it was when that baby event was going on there's loads of different things there was cross stitches for babies nurseries there was moses baskets there was high chairs it was an absolutely fabulous event i think i spent about 100 quid in there just on baby stuff just because it was a perfect time to buy stuff for a baby and oscar was only a couple of months old so there was bits we realized we needed and they were all there and really handy but one of the bits i got was this funky monkey thermal flask so i noticed this and it's just a thermal flask which i can take out and about with me to keep the food warm so if i had he had a spaghetti bolognese or something we could put it in here and it was warm and hopefully i'll see if it works and see if it keeps it warm um we'll keep it warm until we're out and about because it's all well and good taking the pouches but usually places aren't really good about warming it up just in case um food poisoning happens so weirdly enough m the next item is one of my favorite items i actually can't wait until he starts using this because it'll look so cute and it'll be using it on his own and it will come in handy when we need it so it is this little beaker with a crab on it it's got two handles for him to hold on um, when he's been having his milk he is already trying to hold it and hold it himself and he loves to do things on his own he seems to get really happy when he's independent so having something that he can hold on to and use himself will really help him it comes with a lid and it comes with a slow tea if they're new to like water squash or anything that you're going to put in here then that's probably the best one to go with that's the one i'll start with but um oscar's already on the very flow teats because he just wants more and more to come quicker so this one's really good because it actually comes with i don't know if you can see it comes with a quicker teat so we'll start with the slow one but then if he needs the other one we've got it to hand we don't have to go and find it we don't have to buy a new one so it's really really handy so the last thing that i'm going to show you is the actual food that we're going to be using I like to make it all homemade but we do need to buy some in just to take out and about if we're in a rush or need something quick to grab we haven't had time to make anything. So we have got some fruity porridge so this is suitable for four to six months but you can get ones that are suitable for older ages. Oscar is already not liking plain food, he is liking food that's mixed so the fruity porridge is really good and sometimes we mix real fruit into it to give him that extra taste and obviously introduce him to more different tastes so we've just got that one what i've got with me at the moment is the ella's kitchen range so ella's kitchen we've got the green one we've just bought a pack of these quick you can mix these in with porridge or they can have them on their own and we've also got the sweet potato broccoli and carrots these ones we've got because we went to a baby event in the milton Keynes center and they were giving away free bags and we got a lot of these in them this is not his favorite at the moment it's a very different taste the sweet potato but he is beginning to like it so we're going to keep suing to so to make sure that he has a wide variety of nutrients in his diet and for his snack put some frozen fruit or frozen veg in this dummy and you just put it in here into the teat and screw it back on and he could just munch on that and the juices will come out and if, especially if they're frozen with his teeth in at the moment they'll really soothe his gums so this is becoming handy for feeding and for teething i went on the ellis kitchen website because i was really interested about weaning and how we were going to go about it and there was a bit where you can sign up to get these free weaning free weaning journeys and free chart for your baby so i signed up and i received these so on this one it's about how you can take the steps to weaning so it does a week by week guide of how you can go about weaning and what you should do in each week so it says on week one start with veggies one taste at a time things like potatoes broccoli cauliflower and on week two continue with veggie purees but do different ones like carrots parsnips squash aubergine courgettes and then from then on it says different things that you can integrate at six months so for example i have the usual milk per day they can have some water it will be as their food will be at a smooth texture 
but slightly thicker and all different things like that and it says at the end even though your baby now can eat anything some foods will still pose choking risks so make sure that you know that to cut grapes long ways now instead of that way so they don't choke and all different things like that and this is just a wall chart and it comes with some little stickers so these will look really good for Oscar when he starts to understand all the different foods and on here it says this wall chart belongs to and we'll write Oscar's name with him and it's got a place for his a picture with all his food all over his face that's inevitable and all different things about his weaning journey so when he first took the spoon on his own his first feed what was his first puree was what his first tooth ate that day what his favorite fruits and vegetables are and all different things like that so it's just a food memory journey that will be really lovely to keep in his memory box that's the end of the video i hope that you enjoyed watching all about weaning and the haul this is a disclaimer i'm not an expert on weaning and the health visitor will tell you what's suitable for you and you know what's suitable for your child so take it with a pinch of salt and apply it to your child but it was just all the things that i bought prior to oscar being born and after oscar being born and these are just the things that really really help him so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below just realized i blend in with the duvet bye